Kind of a neat look from the camera here at Coleman Regional Medical Center. If you look up here toward the top of the screen, how the clouds have a, a little bit of a texture to them as opposed to the nice smooth clouds off in the distance to the south. This is actually rain that's falling from that thin layer of clouds on top of Coleman County, but it's not getting all the way down to the surface just yet. That's because the air is so dry between where we are and where those raindrops are falling out of those clouds at about 10,000 feet above us. 53 tonight before midnight will actually bottom out in the low 50s, somewhere between midnight and 3 or 4 a.m. And then it actually warms up a bit, about 54 tomorrow morning with some spotty showers. And there's a better chance of rain up toward Coleman and Jasper, Double Springs and Hamilton than we have in Birmingham, but still a few scattered light showers and temperatures. How about the upper 60s again tomorrow? A little cooler to the east, a little warmer to the west. That's usually how it works this time of year. 54 in Alabaster in the morning about 6 a.m. 55 at Winona and around 53 for Aniana. And then tomorrow afternoon, nice and warm to the south, but it will be cooler to the north where those showers are a little bit more likely. We've got impact weather coming up for the weekend. Multiple waves of rain, some of it very heavy at times, and there will be some thunderstorms involved, but most of those storms not severe. It's just bringing extremely heavy downpours both Saturday and Sunday. Periods of rain it may not rain the entire day, not every minute of the day, but it's going to be pretty wet around for both Saturday and Sunday. Highs will be in the 60s for the weekend. Our rain chances are limited tomorrow. Very spotty in the way of showers and thunderstorms, if any storms whatsoever Friday, but then it picks up a lot going into Saturday, Sunday and a medium to high threat of heavy rain yet again coming in on Monday. Total rainfall averaging about two to three inches. Now we've got some forecast guidance that wants to paint a narrow band of three to six inches of rain somewhere between Clanton and Coleman over the next four days, four to five days. Now exactly where that ends up, I'm not certain, so we'll keep it at about two to three plus with two to three being about the norm for the majority of us. Temperatures are in the 50s and 60s right now. There's a little rain showing up on WVTM 13 live Doppler radar way over into parts of Mississippi, but not much of that's actually getting to the surface. A lot of humidity beginning to move northward. Here's what the future cast simulated radar looks like seven o'clock tomorrow morning. A few spotty showers, an umbrella or a rain jacket should be fine for Friday. It's not going to be a soaker uh, into Saturday, though. Watch what happens here. We're fairly quiet for most of the day around Jefferson and Shelby counties, but around Coleman, Jasper, Hamilton, it's pouring for a large part of the day. And then Saturday night into Sunday morning, boy, it just comes and comes and comes through Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, Anniston and Gadsden. So two impact days here Saturday and Sunday. Heavy rain likely both days. Rain starts to move out by Monday afternoon. Total rainfall here at least two to three inches, if not more. Some floodings possible. Sun is back on Tuesday. It's a bit cooler and looking fairly nice going through the middle of next week with some colder mornings ahead.